Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are here in Denver and we decided to come and check out downtown. Just in case you come and visit so you know what to expect. We are here in 16th Street Mall and this is one of the popular outdoor malls and we just decided to come and check it out. And I'ma tell you something, this is gonna be a very quick walk because it's very, very cold. So just follow me. Man, this weather here, it is serious. We was walking on the street and I have, but we have to jump immediately to a coffee shop. Thank God we found this Starbucks to get some hot coffee because it was so cold. I couldn't even feel my lips. My ears start hurting. It, it, it is terrible, it was terrible, it's still terrible. And just thinking about that we have to go outside again. It just made me feel bad. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna walk a little bit better to see what we can, what other thing we can see. And also we are talking about going to a escape room. I'm telling you who is somebody there who's very excited about that, my daughter about going to the escape room. <laughs> she just, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm not so much, but she is. So we are going to try to go to the escape room. It's a lot of things here in um, in Denver. So we are going to try to go now to one, to see if we can, at least to see if we can film something over there. Too. So we did actually found a escape room to go and the name is Escape Work. So we are gonna go and have fun. We already asked, they say it is very fun to do it. Uh, but unfortunately, you could not record inside. So I'm gonna tell you all about it when I get out. Two hours later. So guys, we just got out of the escape room. It was very fun. My daughter was in love with it, had to do it. She, and then she came out and she wasn't that happy because we didn't make it out. <laughs> we did the most we can. We opened two doors, but it was one more door with some other clue that we had to do. It we didn't make it to the last one. But it was very fun. And they said that we did good. I don't know if they were lying to us, but they said that we did very good. The one that we did was a pirate ship, and they say that is one of the hardest one, and then 30% of the people, of the group, because it's really for a big group, made it out of there. So they said that we did it good, we're gonna believe it. And this one is, like I say, is escape work, and the price is $30 per person. So if you wanna have some fun, you know where you need to go. And this was my experience here in Denver, Colorado. So that that you saw over there, me in the mall, in the coffee shop, and then in the escape room, was the last thing that we did of it, that we did here. Um, I was, I mean, we were planning or willing to do more, but just the the weather didn't help. And seriously, I don't know. Well, I guess it's for people like me. They like a warmer i'm not gonna say just hot but warmer weather but i don't see anybody besides the people that live here that if you are vacationing want to come a place like this just for vacation because i don't know what to do i don't even want to be out in that cold weather every time i went out i was ready to come back, back in at home i just want to be here watching tv working on the computer eating whatever but being out there and it's a lot of things to do here. It's a lot of mall. And some of the malls are like those nice outside 
mold that you can walk around but with the weather you cannot I mean not at least me I cannot be walking around and just looking because I'm ready to go inside whatever store it is just do not be walking outside and that's why we it went to Starbucks just to get some coffee just to get in a warmer place but this was the experience here and so far beside the weather everything is fine and then tomorrow early we will be, but not that early, about around uh, 12, we will be traveling to Granby. And, and another last two things that I forgot to mention, Uber prices. Oh my God. We don't realize how much expenses Uber are here. Well, depending on the time. We took a few Ubers that will probably, we haven't taken nothing less than 15 months. Every, everywhere we go. But depending on what the time of the day, like if you are taking it between three, to 6 p.m. I think that's rush time here. Uber are just for, come from here to downtown, which is not that far. It's about what? About five miles is around $30. Yes, $30 just for the Uber, about five miles. And I think that is incredible uh, high uh, to pay Uber. I mean, I guess that it's depending on how much, or how much you are trying to be out. If you come over here, it's just better to rent a car instead of uh, just trying to catch over. So they also have those scooter line here. I know they need the same brand they have over there in Fort Lauderdale because I used it before, at least in the beach. Uh, but they, they have it here uh, throughout the city that you can rent it out and then you can go wherever you want to go and then you can just leave it out, whatever, whatever you get to your destination. And it's a dollar to rent it out and then 32 cents per minute. Uh, so, so you know if you're just going from there, you want to go to that town, if you want to ride the scooter, I mean, you can do that. Um, yeah, I think that is everything that I have noticed here. It is a lot of things to do. Like I said, here is a lot of restaurant, nice restaurants. It just, um, uh, like I said, the weather didn't help us to try to explore more. I will say that. Another thing that is very expensive because my husband got one is a haircut. He went to get his haircut before we go to Granby uh, tomorrow and a haircut with his beard was $60, yes, $60. Thing that you can get in Dominican Republic, depending on where you're going. If you go in the Villa Mella, in my town, you're gonna spend 400 pesos, 300 pesos, which is what is that? Five, six of, around that. If you go in around the Naco area where we live, you will pay a thousand pesos, which is about what? 20, around 20, 18 dollars. Or 60, I think that he should, he should, he should head, get a, 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 a whole new head with that 60 dollars. I mean, that, they have 60 dollars for a haircut. And I know, I know, depending on where you go, it's that expensive because even uh, for uh, women to fix their hair, like over there in Florida, was really expensive. I used to go to the salon, it was 50, around 50. Uh, just for a regular watch, it was around $50. So, yeah, I'm just letting you know, in the case that you're passing by, the thing that you will face when you come over here. <laughs> so, that is all what happened right now in Denver, and I will see you in Granby. So, i see you in my next one. Bye!